Hi guys and welcome back to another Canva video. It's Leanne and today we're going to be making a very basic children's book cover. The basic of the basic. Here we have a KDP template. If you watched our previous videos you know exactly how to go and get one exactly for your size of book. You want to paste it to a page and make a copy but clear your copy to be completely blank. You're going to keep this template down here as your reference and you're going to make sure your rulers and guides are turned on as you can see here. I showed you in previous videos how to do that. Click on the line and drag it across then let go of your mouse to keep it where it is. You're going to trace out your spine as you can see here the dotted lines. You're going to trace out along these coral edges which are where the print gets cut off on KDP Amazon and for the top and bottom ones because it's we can't exactly drag a ruler measurement down we're just going to guesstimate making them sort of the same width as the side ones so we're just going to guess where that is and this is just so you know where your page is going to be trimmed off so if you've got any details you keep them within this little border and the last thing we're going to co copy over is the barcode this is really easy, just go into Elements, select a square, drag it over and resize it to match the barcode. I accidentally moved one of my guides there. Just resize it roughly to match your barcode. And this is just so if you're putting lots of detail on your back cover, you know exactly where that barcode is going to sit and it's not going to be an issue when you transfer over to Amazon. Now the way to get that onto your page is leave it where it is, copy it. Go to your page, click on your page and click paste and it puts it exactly where it is on the template below. It is the exact position, so you don't even move it, nothing, it's just that's where it is. Okay, so now we're going to do a little more work in mapping out our front and back cover. You don't really need it. If you're a bit more experienced then you don't need to put any more rulers. I noticed these looked a little bit wide so I'm just adjusting them. So I'm just going to use um, a basic lean and low image. You can use any of your characters from your book. You could even put your entire scene on the cover and back of your book. I'm just going for pure basic today using my little lean devil. Now as you can see trying to center it a line will appear when you are vertically or horizontally in the middle. For some reason it's not showing in my one going across the way but there's the one for the middle of the horizontal line so I'm actually going to mark that out with my rulers and guides I'm going to um, first of all change my background cover because there's a cloud that you cannot see there we go and I want to make sure that he is perfectly centered although that will depend entirely on your design. Now I'm going to take one of these shapes here which is a square with curved edges and I'm going to give myself a white blank writing spot for adding the book description on the back of your book. Now we want this to be centered between the lines that you've seen so what I'm going to do is mark out the center and middles of my pages to get the exact center spot. Just using my rulers if you drag it across slowly you can see it changes colour as you become to the centre of things. So that's become the centre right there. So I've dragged that over so it matches and becomes a pink colour. That's a hint that you've hit the centre is when your purple line turns pink. And I'm also going to do it for... Oh, sorry, I was just making my barcode less bright because I don't really need it there to interfere with my design. And it was just annoying me. So as you see, as I dragged it down, it turned pink. That means it's exactly in the center. And I'm doing the same for lean. So now I can position my things. As you can see, this is too high. So I can drag it down. Both lines turn pink, meaning it's perfectly centered. And if I wiggle lean about till I get both, there we go. She's perfectly centered. That means that image and my right in are exactly where they should be. And now I can add my text, my titles. Now a basic book cover will have the book title on the back right here in your chosen font and will also have your description of your book like your short blurb on the back. It goes in here obviously this is as long or as short as your blurb is and I always like to put some social media icons down here. Um, Canva has quite a lot of social media icons. I tend to pick the ones that you can change the colour. 
so that you can match it to your book. I'm just going to pick uh, Facebook, I think. I'm just going to pick this one. And it, it's got like three different colors in there, but I'm just going to change it to all one color and match it to the background of my book. So I'm going to do that really quickly. And this is just a way of making your book look more cohesive and more designed rather than just thrown together is if you match all your tiny elements to either your brand color or your book color, as you can see, perfect. I'm just going to copy this. That's where my website or my link would go right there. If I wanted to add any more, then I would. Now my book tile, I'm sticking within the print you can see there's little dotted lines around the middle of my book. This is kind of like the optimal place to put any kind of text for printing. So I'm just keeping them both within that little rectangle that is inside my book. Laying it out is a bog standard book, as simple as can be. This is kind of the layout for most children's books. Now to add a little bit more texture and detail because I'm only using a singular image I'm going into the little elements thing at the side and looking for transparent backgrounds or patterns and I just want to find a random pattern to add some texture to my book that I can change the colour of I really love doing this when I've got such a super simple design I just slightly make it a slightly different shade of the background colour and then it adds this extra extra element that makes the book look a little more polished rather than just a basic I threw on an image and there's my image kind of thing. I'm just trying to add some more details to show that a very very basic design can become a little more polished looking with just a few added details in the background. Now I'm going to mimic our little cloud by adding a couple of clouds. I want to wrap one right around the spine so I'm going to position it so that it is behind lean and also onto my spine and behind my little text box I'm going to put one down here just for where my author name would go just so it stands out a little bit now all these little things obviously make a difference I'm just going to move these dots around until I get them exactly where I want them and that is pretty much a basic book layout it looks more polished than it did five minutes ago when it was extremely basic and for the spine, you just want to tilt your text on its side to try and get it as straight as possible, something I clearly seem to struggle with. And then reduce the size until it looks like it fits comfortably within your spine. Obviously, children's books have a very, very narrow spine, so sometimes if it's a very small book, you're not going to be able to fit very much in that spine at all or minute writing that's unreadable. So normally you would have the title and your author name as I've shown here. So this is a layout of a basic book cover. This shows you how to get it on the right place. So when you upload it to Amazon and get your little preview, everything should be centered, nothing should be off to the side and everything is looking fabulous. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.